line of defense acts last in immune response. List its components. The first line of defense is the innate or non-specific immune response. The innate immune response consists of physical, chemical and cellular defenses against pathogen. Which line S of defense is are not concerned with recognition of the pathogen intruder. Innate immunity or non-specific immunity is the natural defense of body against intruder. This immunity acts without recognizing and differentiating the intruder. It has two components i.e. first line of defense and second line of defense. Some harmful chemicals can make you sick but chemicals are not included in the list of pathogens. Why? Because pathogens are living things while chemicals are not living things. Adaptive immune response increase with time. Why? Adaptive immune response increase with time due to vaccine and exposure of pathogens. People throughout the world have become focused on improving immune system from March 2020. Why? People have become focused on improving immune system because of very dangerous disease COVID-19 spread out in the world. Long questions. Explain different types of immunity. Innate immunity. It is also called non-specific immunity. It is the natural defense of body, by birth, against any intruder. It acts without recognizing the intruder. It is first and second line defense, adaptive immunity. It is also called learned immunity. It is third line of defense. It makes T cells and B cells after recognizing the germs. T cells kill virus and bacteria and activate all other cells to fight the germs. After activation, B cells start making antibodies. This immunity grows with time due to vaccine and exposure of pathogens. Passive immunity. Sometimes a pathogen harms body very quickly and our immune system cannot protect us. In such situation already prepared antibodies save us. We can help our immune system by adding additional layers such as wearing masks, using sanitizer etc. Explain the mechanism of antibody formation. There are two ways to start antibodies formation. Either you become ill or have vaccination. Antibodies formation is started after exposure to pathogens. Antibodies are produced by B cells, white blood cells. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe Fizz Education and press the bell button for early notifications.